Hey guys, I guess this is just a little tricks and tips video for you guys that don't know much about files. Um, I've seen quite a few guys on YouTube in the last while um, using files and it kind of hurts my brain to watch them use the file, but maybe some of it's me and I don't know. One thing that I, uh, I'll start with this is lots of say, lots of people, and I was taught this way, it says it in textbooks, all kinds of stuff, is that when you're using a file that, let's say you're filing something like this, right? You're filing is that you should lift the file and pull it back and then, you know, go again. And honestly, that's the way I was taught. But I've had a bunch of files, so that'd be just, you know, Usually when I'm filing, what I do is I'll push it and then I glide it back, but I'm not pushing on the file per se. So I lift load, but I don't actually lift it off. And I've had a, some of these files, like some of the, a couple of these files, this was my grandfather's file. And I still use it. There's still nothing wrong with it. Um, and actually I'll link down below, um, fireball something. I'll link it down below for you guys. And he actually did a test. I can't think of his, it's fireball something. He actually has all kinds of cool videos. Um, but I'll link it down below. He did a test on files and this was testing push and pull, um, you know, with constant load and all that type of stuff on it and found it didn't make any difference. It's actually, they actually cut more when you're pulling, pulling and pushing. So just, you know, for you guys, I know guys are gonna be like, nope, that's not how you do it. And that is how I was taught as well. And, but his test says otherwise. And I've been doing it this way, like I said, for a long time. I'm just trying to put you up in the tripod here. Um, and never had an issue. But something that I haven't anybody do is how to clean a file. Um, if you're cleaning files, this is a file card, they call it, which is just like, it's just like a, a regular little wire brush, but they're, they're canted backwards. And this is actually for, for cleaning files. You can buy these. You do not need to buy an expensive one. Good files are nice. Um, but these you can buy. I think there was a two pack of these, I think. And it was like a buck fifty or two dollars or something. Harbor Freight or Princess Auto for guys in Canada. Um, you know, you can buy file cards cheap. I'm sure Amazon has them on there too. If they do, if I seen them on Amazon, I'll throw them on my Amazon store. But something else I want to talk about. So this isn't going to be a really long video, but for some reason I've seen lots of guys doing it, is they do this. Don't do that to your file. Come on. Basically, what it, you know, like even doing that hurt my brain a little bit. This is an old file, so it doesn't really, whatever. It's not super sharp anymore, but it still cuts. Um, anywhere that you're banging the file, the file has a sharp edge on it, right? So, you know, like it's just like a sawtooth and you bang on something with it, you're going to smash that sawtooth down. Don't do that. Use the file card to clean it out. A little bit of brake clean, you know, you know, file card, brake clean, blow it off. And if you're not going to use the file, a little bit of WD-40 on it, keep it from rusting. I use mine all the time, so it's not a huge deal. But I did want to grab a different file um, and show you something. So this is just a regular old file. It's one of the ones that guys uses. One of the guys use, it's actually super dirty. Um, but see how there's no end on it? Both of these have ends. If you guys are using this stuff, if you're just using it by hand, it's not such a big deal. But this pointy end, if you don't have a handle on it, let's say you're on a, a piece of machinery or something and you're filing and it catches, this will shove into your hand. Um, and I've actually have, you can't see the scar anymore, but well, actually you might be able to see it a little bit right there. That actually, one of these actually shoved into the palm of my hand, but like that far, I was using it on the lathe and it caught, it was blunt edged like this and it shoved into my hand and the file was sticking like that. Didn't do any damage. I don't, well, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Um, but if you're doing that, make sure you put something on there, whether it be a wire nut you know, that's a good use for a wire nut in the automotive trade. Other than that, they're not really for automotive use. Um, handles, you can buy handles or buy them with handles, whatever it may be. But just be aware of that. If you're using it on something that's rotating by power, be careful that that doesn't shove into your hand. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. Hopefully this helps somebody out. And uh, remember, it's not rocket science.